This Moldovan mission will allow you to harm Mehmed II, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Hurt him very, very badly until it screams. At the same time, in this guide, I will show you how to create a powerful Romanian Empire and get some rare achievement, but I'll show you that at the end of the video. Hello guys, Lucas here. Moldavia, a country that has a very bad situation. Because within a few years, all our neighbors will want to conquer us. But still better than Wallachia. We also have pretty good national ideas, from a military point of view, at least for the beginning of the game. And let me tell you frankly, improving relations will also be useful to us especially since we are of the orthodox religion. So we have an icon that strengthens it even more. We have a mission tree. I'd like to say it's kind of cool, but unfortunately not. It is mostly generic except for the first and fifth column. Uh, here there are such missions that will allow us to bring order to the Balkans. We have a fleet, which is actually a big plus for Moldova. And we even have a fort. And our country is ruled by a weak ruler with rather strange personality. Oh, this ruler also has them randomly because not everyone has them. Well, let's get back to ours. As you can see, I am improving my relationship with Poland and the Ottoman Empire. Poland because gave us the guarantee. And we have some increased chance of an alliance with Poland in the future after all. And with the Ottoman Empire, because I'll need a military access from them in a moment. Yes, uh, you all know what's about to attack. And at this point, we can go to our state. We can certainly afford to take every monarchy point, take back the land, at the boyars, we take the supremacy over the crown mission. I take loans, and the, they'll come in handy for us. In the meantime, let's roll for a cheaper military advisor. And we have, admittedly, I was counting on discipline, but this one can be. As usual, we are cancelling our military recruitment, and as soon as I unpause, we will complete the mission. We certainly take our rivals as Teutonic Knights, and with Wallachia, we will wait a while, because there is a good chance that the moment you make them a rival, the Ottoman Empire will start to guarantee their independence. The Moldovan economy is not good there. Oh look, we, we even start with debts. Oh strange, the only country in the game. And to be honest, playing as Moldova, we will rather run on loans for quite a long time. Let's send one merchant to collect in Constantinople. From what I've looked at, we don't have any advisors that are cheaper on a base basis. But luckily I found an advisor with a diplomatic reputation. Even though it is already on the second level, it is still worth having and maybe will allow us to easily gain an alliance. We also have a military advisor, but we're about to have a cheaper advisor, so we don't hire that. He will only be useful to us when we are fighting wars. And yes, we are fighting early wars, so let's focus on military points. All in all, we can shut down the fortress for a few months. We delete the cavalry, and if you look at the pips, it's really not much better than infantry, but much more expensive. A day later, we complete the mission and immediately recruit our cheaper advisor. Let's go back to the estates for a moment. We take a privilege for the Cossacks, increasing the tradition of the army and improving our commander. As with the clergy, we want to have a monthly increment of patriarch authority. Anyway, we're holding off for now. Let's also recruit 4,000 infantry at once. And it's good that I looked at the mercenaries. We have a great Cossack company, two to besiege, five to shock. However, I prefer it more than my normal soldiers. It's true, it is much more expensive, but this commander rules. And finally, let's consecrate Moldova. While this will increase my maintenance of my area, we do get 5% Patriarch Authority. So we'll be 5% closer to taking discipline or a less aggressive expansion. And now it's time. Now it's time for early wars. I declare war on the Byzantine Empire with the best Casus Billy. That is, no Casus Billy. Don't worry about aggressive expansion. Remember, it's actually going down really fast for us. We recruit a free company anyway, because we'll save the better one for later. We can take missions for a stronger army right away. This beginning is the most important for us. But why Poland? Oh, because you already have Lithuania. If not Poland, then Moscow. Yes, we're capturing the Athenian fleet. Withdraw. Our ruler can be a commander. Okay, Stefan does it anyway. Let's take military access from the Ottoman Empire. And basically, if not Poland, then maybe Hungary will be our ally. Yes, empty Constantinople. Well, sure, because we have minus two stability is immediately minus three. We can have it. We broke the walls. Charge. I mean, I'm taking a bit of a risk here, but it was worth it, I guess. I have a feeling that uh, performing the stability mission can be very hard for us. I'm down to minus three, but paying off loans even more difficult. But anyway, I'd rather take the risk. Yes, how nice. Seriously, it's hungry now. No one likes me. Oh, and where did they come from? Let's go back to our territory for a moment. Remember that our troops regenerate faster here. Three months and we'll make up for any losses. 
Well, unless the Ottoman Empire attacks Byzantium, but still they are unlikely to take Constantinople. Thanks, Ottoman. There's no point in continuing to improve your relationship with Ottoman when you take this province for yourself. Osman will hate you too. Well, from what I can see, I'll take everything except Athens. Roman invasion. It was a civil war in Moldova. One side was supported by Poland, the other by Hungary. Both countries wanted to make Moldova a march. That's why I choose independence. Greece conquered, Constantinople captured, Athens, unfortunately not. So I descend from Byzantine territory and then I conquer all territory except Athens and take some money. What happened here? Athens is a vassal of Moldavia, unexpected. I mean, to be honest, I have no idea why that happened either. I should have a war with the Ottoman Empire, but it should be used if it is. But guys, if you know why this happened, let me know in the comments. Did I say the Ottoman Empire wouldn't like you? But fortunately, the other empire loved us. Although we know that it is not necessarily good for Moldova today. But we have 500 years for that. I'm taking some risks here. As I mentioned, my ruler is not very good. I'm hoping to get a better one from the rebels. And so for several patches, you can no longer see what ruler we will get. By the way, I'll plunder Byzantium. It better go to us, to the capital. Why is Greece so poor? And we released the Byzantine vassal, which will probably be very disloyal. Yes, very, very much. Our new rival may be the Ottoman Empire, and we want to do it. Besides, Karaman can also be our rival. And ladies and gentlemen, there has been a change of power. It's okay. And you know what's best? I got three stability points. What this is about. The Ottoman Empire attacked Karaman. Normally, I would be very happy. But I don't have a fleet to destroy it. We need to build a heavy ship as soon as possible. I just don't have sailors, so we will not declare this war because it makes no sense. Alright, well, maybe I'll have sailors after all. Let's say we gathered volunteers. <laughs> okay, improving the relationship stabilizes the situation with our vassals. We can always expand their province if needed, just not for military points. Oh, we're already making money. Let's change our country's attitude towards the Ottoman Empire. Let's feel threatened. Then there is a chance that when we improve relations with the Mamluk or Austria to the maximum, this will show a heart in relations with them. Because they have Osman on the rival. And then it will be easier for us to ally with these countries. Oh yes, oh no. Did I mention earlier that the conquest of Constantinople is also important because we are blocking the Ottoman Empire's missions? This makes the Ottomans stupid. I develop all our provinces for diplomatic points, starting with the farmlands, of course, because developing provinces is the cheapest here. I don't know how, but th we have an alliance with the Austrian Emperor, which allows us to perform a certain mission, and we found the Order of the Dragon. I also completed a mission for additional diplomatic points for trustworthy alliance. I insult the Ottoman Empire because what bad can happen? A lot of good has just happened. Of course, something had to balance it out. Now let our diplomats work on favor points. And I must wait for some occasion where Osman will move his troops into Anatolia or he will be busy with some very big war, for example with Venice in the Balkans. Then we just attack the other side. And there we have it, the Albanian-Ottoman War. That is, Venice supports Albania. Okay, so far Venice and Albania are doing pretty well. I want to take advantage of this moment then. I've recruited mercenaries, a free company, and oh, this company that has a very good general with two for siege. That's why we start. Imperial the Sultan phase. What is super important to me is to capture this fortress, because it is our war objective. A great clash of fleets, and it will soon be seen if my three heavy ships can handle it. I guess they do. And finally, we sent part of the Ottoman fleet to the bottom. I even managed to win a battle with Osman. We are in their capital! We're storming, I guess! After the fall of Ganibol, in order to quickly restore morale, we are withdrawing to our territories. Here it will be much faster than on any other terrain. And remember that bots hunt such an army, and very much are. Meanwhile, my fleet is already blocking the passage. Well, and this time we're going back to the Ottoman capital, as soon as possible. Just in case, let's use an extra discipline. And I think we're going to need it now. Fatality. Really? Riots at this point? I'm at war here, to become an empire! Okay, we won. The Ottoman capital fell. And uh, Byzantium gets it. And this is naughty Byzantium. And please, we can do it. It's time to get impaled the Sultan. But I'm still making sure. Yes, the current Ottoman ruler is killed. And he's really nice. That's why the Ottoman Empire hates us. But its other rivals will support it as much as possible. And did you like Sultan's screams? Maybe you left subscriptions. Oh, the successor is not so good. But uh, to be honest, I was hoping for some combat bonuses. I forgot it was such a weak event. Rebellion suppressed. I love it when I see these armies waiting to pass. And my fleet is being damaged right now because we are short of sailors. Okay, but there's an Albanian fleet here and a Byzantine one. I'll keep mine in the ports for now. 
I have to be very careful with this straight. Let's break this fortress again. <sighs> well, they tried. They tried. We've been successful. The heavy ships are doing their job. See? Unsinkable. But overall, we have a problem because I've only been able to capture this Osman areas. So I won't take any more for now. I will deal with the outcome of the Albanian Ottoman War. In anticipation, of course, I deploy troops in territories that I will not conquer. To plunder them. There's always some money here. I expanded Bessarabia to increase the number of our sailors. And, and Albania lost that war. And we occupy the rest of the Balkans. And I have even more luck. The Ottoman Empire again guarantees independence in Wallachia. I do not hide that this is why I made this claim. In the meantime... October 1st, 1462. Before the war is over, remember to disable the fort you won't be capturing as a result of the war. I just need two diplomats. I am sending the following piece to the Ottoman Empire. One province for me, a lot for Byzantium. How much money can I get? Wow, these are losses. And still on pause. We declare war in Wallachia, which will draw the Ottoman Empire back into this war. Or maybe we'll conquer Herzegovina too. And now we are sending our troops to this fortress right away to capture it as soon as possible. And then, in the first place, we want to take the Ottoman troops out of this war. We pay off all our debt. The enemies can't take our fortresses, so I'm totally okay with that for now. Forward to the glory, a tournament bonus at this point is always welcome. And we destroy the army in Wallachia. Moldova, no Wallachia. Oh no, Ragusa meddled in our war, it's bad. Okay, we end the war with the Ottoman Empire as follows. We take one province to have access to Kosovo. We take some money and most importantly we break their alliance with Poland and we just eat Wallachia. Well, Serbia, really? Okay, I'm also starting the process of eating Byzantium right away. It will take us 7, 12 years, long! And basically now we have... It's time to build an empire. And we're all gonna start it off with something crazy. Release of the Bulgarian separatists and then after 5 years we'll free us Bulgaria which we will then conquer. Yes, Austria just lost an empire, I do not know how. But all in all, uh, it's not bad for me because we will use it in a joint attack on Hungary. Uh, I mean Kosovo. But you know, Hungary will be our real target, only unfortunately, I can't call them to war separately. And then came the Turks, destroyers of the fun of the Bulgarian rebels. Now drive the Hungarians away from Vienna, we are destroying them completely. Wow, very hard even. And Austria completes the work of destruction. Poland hates me anyway. We'll run carpet siege. From Hungary, I take the following provinces. Of course, the Thames Fortress. Here, you can alternatively consider the Transylvanian provinces because there are quite a lot of provinces to capture. And the war with the Serbs ends as follows. Unfortunately, I can't eat them whole because they were attacked by Ragusa. We don't have anyone important in the coalition. To be honest, I didn't need Austria in this war. It's time to choose an idea. And here in Moldova, I would suggest a combination of diplomatic and humanistic ideas to have a very big bonus to lower aggressive expansion and be able to conquer more and faster. But I will choose something else. Innovative ideas will be the first choice of mine. I wonder if you can guess which pair I'll take. Keep watching to see for yourself. If you have any other set of ideas, write to me in the comments or tell me which one you decided to choose. And great, we united the provinces. And now it's time to start building our new capital. This 9% inflation is not good, you will have to beat it as soon as possible. Look, now we have an aggressive expansion drop of 4 points per year and I don't even have an icon. At this stage of the game, we can easily give ourselves all the privileges, for example, on cheaper advisors. Autonomy is the worst economic modifier ever in this game, so be sure to reduce it. I would not like to be in Hungary's shoes right now. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Has Osman gone bankrupt? And the Mamluk himself attacked the Ottoman Empire from behind. I didn't have to call him. I took the quest to eat Vasily cheaper because we're almost done eating Byzantium. And in fact, we can also use this privilege. And that's why Byzantium is ours. It's called being over budget. And Moldova joined the largest countries in the world. What happened to these Hungarians here? They almost resemble today's Hungary. It really makes me wonder how the Mamluk is losing this war. We end the war like this. But... Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. We're becoming a kingdom now. And we leave a trap for Osman, whom I allowed, who lost the battle. And we end his army, thank you. I'm tempted to make Hungary our Volsal. Hungary will be under Moldovan boot. Pope, and why did you come? It's probably a sign. And now is the time to consolidate our forces and to rule over all the lands we've just conquered. We are moving the capital to Bucharest. However, I prefer to have the capital in Constantinople, and we'll be moving it here in a moment. 
And now finally the Moldovan economy is starting to look like something really well, let me tell you that, that it took me 20 years to bring Moldova out of the riots, economic collapse, etc. I earn not too much, I upgrade the technology and I almost develop the offensive idea. But we have the capital in Constantinople, which will now allow me to carry out a certain mission for us. Because I am not hiding that we need to restore the brightness of this city and expand it as much as possible. I also hold these two missions to launch them at once at the 11th level of our technologies. But they require me to conquer Transylvania, which has guarantees from Poland and from the Bohemia. This does not change the fact that with the help of my allies, we are moving to conquer Transylvania. But first, let's deal with the Bohemian army's beautiful battles. Another idea that I take is, as I mentioned, innovative. Although I do not hide the possibility that it was a mistake that I did not take them first, and I conquer too much at the beginning. I will not let Poland defend Krakow. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, we will beat them. Poland bravely defended itself, but as usual, it loses and gives me what I really needed from it. We will get the gold mine another time. We will end the Transylvania case. Bloody war. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can finally create Moldova, Romania, I'm sorry, which has such a beautiful blue color. Romanian ideas are much better, in my opinion, than Moldovan ones. The discipline is already at the start. We get more manpower, even more manpower, and cheaper infantry, trade power. Although I do not hide, we have a slightly weaker relationship but 8% does not make a difference. And now to achieve a very rare achievement, Dracula Revenge. To do it, we really only have to conquer the rest of the provinces that belong to the Balkan zone. That is, one war with Venice, one war with Bohemia, and probably one war with Scilly. If you want to see something as rare as this achievement, then I recommend this episode from the, uh, the Catholic Ottoman Empire, in which he becomes the Holy Roman Emperor.